Well, as you're probably beginning to see, using groups and companies is as much of an art as it is a science. And there are many different ways that we can do it. But just to put a practical example into place, let's say that what we want to do is we want to identify all of the people that are on our database, all the contacts that are on our database that have something to do with golf. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new group that quickly identifies that. So the first thing that I want to do is create the group. Well, I'm in Group Detail View, and I just right-click on Group Detail View. I have the opportunity then to create a new group or create a new subgroup. Now what we're going to do is whether they are a customer, an employee, a friend, a prospect, if they have anything to do with golf, we want them in our new group. So it is going to be a group. So we're going to click on New Group. Now it says, well, what's the name of the group? I'm going to say Golf People. So after I identify my new group name, Golf People, then I'm going to press Enter and then just click over on the left side, over on the group detail side. And notice then that I have golf people identified as a new group. Now, if I wanted to add members to the group, who would I want to add? In other words, how would I want to find people that are going to be in this group? Well, if I right-click on golf people and then come down to group membership, then I can click on Add Remove Contacts. Now, if I know the people that I want to be a member of this golf people group, then I could simply add in those contacts. In other words, click on Contacts and then add in the people that I want. That would be manually adding to the group. But what if I don't? What if I want to search the database? for anything that has to do with golf. In other words, what if I want to go find in the database those kind of things that have to do with golf that would cause me to add people to this group? Well, in that case, what I would do is click on Edit Criteria and notice what comes up. Basically, what we've got is an advanced query. So in this case, then I could start adding to my advanced query. Now, in this case, it's going to be easier for me to start this list off. I'm going to click on Cancel here. And it's going to be easier for me to start this group off by using a keyword example that then will pull everybody into view. In other words, it will allow me to identify anybody that has anything to do with golf to start my group. So I'm going to click on Look Up, and then I'm going to do a keyword search for golf for anywhere it appears. And click on Find Now, and let's see what we get. Now notice I've got seven items, but really Paul Brushman is listed five times. So I really only have then three separate contacts that have something to do with golf which could be where I get started and then maybe I have a golf field that allows me to dynamically manage this group in the future so we can from this particular list we can say what we want to do is we want to build our group from these particular contacts. So now if we wanted to add them in, we know it's Paul Brushman, Claire Haldane, and Tom McNeil. So I can close this and then right click, go to group membership, add remove contacts, and then choose the ones that I want. And that was Tom Brushman, or Paul Brushman, Claire Haldane,
and the last one was Tom McNeil. Now, something interesting here, if we scroll down, you'll notice that we're not going to find Tom McNeil. That's because Tom McNeil is a secondary contact to Paul Brushman at Brushy's Golfing World. So in this case, we really only have the two contacts that we are going to put into this group. So we're done selecting contacts. If we click on OK and then OK, we'll see that we now have that group selected. Now you may be thinking, well, that didn't really save me any time. I mean, that really wasn't any better than a lookup. Well, it's just because we're just getting started. What we're going to do next is take a look at how we can make the management of this group more dynamic over time. That's next.